Broadcasting live from our Columbia, Maryland headquarters, they are founders of Hard Money Bankers, REI 360, and are international bestsellers with their book, The White Board. Here are Chris Haddon and Jason Bailey. Hey everyone, Chris and Jason here in our office in Columbia, Maryland. Today we are talking about the top five tips to ensure that your marketing actually gets done. Because you could have the best content strategy, the grandiose plans, the best copywriting ever, but if it doesn't get done, it's worth zero. So we're gonna dive into that today. Um, we have a couple uh, simple things, a short list, things you can follow to make sure that it actually gets implemented. Yeah, we wanna keep this as simple as possible because obviously the importance of this is it has to get done. And just like a previous show we did related to being the best at the basics, I believe that some of the hacks that we have are pretty basic hacks, but we're good at them and we do them uh, with consistency. Okay, so number one, mentally prepare yourself, mentally prepare yourself um, with doing content in general, right? Putting, you know, putting it kind of on your mind, be like, finally, uh, there's, I'm at a point in my life, I'm, not, I'm at a point in my business that I understand the importance, and if you're not doing marketing, obviously we know that you need to do that. So mentally, mentally prepare, create a game plan, sketch some stuff out on a whiteboard, yeah. get, get it going. And, and here's the most important part of that, is you have to make it a priority. It's not, okay, my marketing is gonna get done when I'm not too busy. And I, I hear people in real estate talk about that all the time. Oh, I just got too busy, so I didn't do that. It has to be a priority. It comes before your transactional stuff. It's non-negotiable if you want it to actually happen. Yeah, agreed. Okay, so number two, calendar everything. Uh, this kind of goes with the first part of actually doing this, but create a calendar, create a plan, figure out exactly what you're gonna be doing, when are you gonna be able to do it. Mm -hmm. um, if you need, to, there's nothing wrong with calendar an appointment with yourself. Let's say you're planning on doing this at Friday from 12 to one, calendar an appointment that way, mm -hmm. and you know put it, put it on there. It's not official until you write it down, you put it on your calendar, put it on your to-do list, put it on your notepad, however you keep track of things on a regular basis that you hold yourself accountable for, do it that way. Yeah, for sure. Uh, calendar and absolutely commit to it. Like if you have an appointment on your calendar, you're going to be there. It's not like, you know, an up in the air sort of thing. Sure. You're going to be there. So make that same appointment with yourself. Got it. Number three, content ideas. Now, the hardest thing that a lot of people have that we've chatted with is they just don't know what to do. They don't know what yeah. type of content to come up with. They don't think anyone's interested uh, uh, to hear about what, they, what mm -hmm. they have to say. But let's be honest, if you're the business owner and you have a business, you're the expert. If you're a real estate investor, you're an expert. And we can back up and define what an expert is. All it really is is knowing a little bit more than the rest of the population. And if you're in business, you better be an expert at, at what you're doing. Uh, so yeah, make it easy on yourself related to content. Keep a running list that you can always refer to when you're drawing a blank. I don't know what I'm supposed to post today. I don't know what I'm supposed to email about. I don't know what I'm supposed to talk about on video. Keep a list and look at it. Keep it in front of you. Keep it on, you know, like a minimized on your desktop or something. Keep an actual piece of paper. In addition to that, another tip is follow people who are good at it. You know, sign up for their email list. Follow them on social media and copy their stuff. If they're doing a content piece in this way, like just, you know, do what the experts do, right? Make it easy on yourself. Keep it right in front of you and top of mind. Exactly. Okay, so number four on the list is one of our favorites, automation. As you can probably tell, we love, love automation. Uh, we love kind of automating ideas and after we have something in place, figuring out a way that either someone else is going to do it or we have software or a different system that's going to get done, you know, on our, our behalf. So let's just go over a few different examples. So uh, we use software, uh, it's called Hootsuite. Hootsuite, sorry. And what Hootsuite does is you can actually put all your social posts in there. Um, you can, you can, and it works for pretty much every platform, right? Facebook, um, as far as I know, Twitter, yeah. Instagram, a lot of the ones that we use it for, at least. So we, for instance, we can time block certain times of day that we go in, we preload all of the content, and then it gets spit, it gets spit out when we need it to get spit out. So that's one easy hack. Yeah. Uh, and a great way to use that is you can dedicate a day or a half a day. Like say on Monday morning from nine to noon, I'm gonna do all of my marketing stuff for the week, even for the month, depending on how much you're trying to put out. And time block that, get it done, uh, schedule it. Same with emails too. Um, any email service you're gonna be using, MailChimp, Infusionsoft, whatever it may be, you can schedule that out for whenever. So you can do all of your email blasts for that week or that month. Uh, in one time, in one sitting. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the trick is to figure out what you want to do and what you don't, what you don't want to do. And we do recommend when you get started, 
dabble with everything. So you, you understand how this works. So let's say you're doing some social posts or you're doing some memes or you're doing whatever it is for Facebook. The next step after that's, that's going, because there's only so much time in the day, either outsource that to a virtual assistant, outsource that to uh, a staff member if you have somebody in your office that can, can yeah. do that, use software like Hootsuite. That goes with everything. It doesn't matter what type of content you're doing. The high level activity for you is creating that content not necessarily posting it or doing email broadcasts or doing all the other uh, he heavy lifting stuff. It's all important, but if you need to determine the best use of your time, doing the content, this 10 minutes video that we're doing, that's the high level content that we're pu putting together. And then we have staff members in our office that are um, you know, putting headers and footers on it, putting it on our, our blog, putting it on social posts, putting it on YouTube, sending it out to some places that we contribute to. So the high level stuff, make sure you're at least doing that yep. and then figure out ways to automate the rest. Yeah, for sure. I would include the, that word delegating, delegation with automation too. Sure. Okay, number so num five. number five, another one that uh, I think that the two of us are pretty good at is the accountability mm -hmm. of, of marketing. Holding yourself accountable with either a business coach or a peer or an employee or a business partner yep. or somebody that you can kind of uh, rely on a little bit to make sure you're doing this on a regular basis. Yeah, and we have different forms of that. Like we basically have all the ones you mentioned. Like we have each other in terms of business partners because we always want to get our stuff done. Um, business coaches here and there, depending on you know what we're happening to be working on at the time. And also, Karen, our wonderful content manager, is constantly asking for the stuff that she needs to do her job related to content. So that provides a good level of accountability too. Yeah, you got, you got to get it done. Cool. So those are the five uh, accountability hacks that we have for, for marketing. As always, comment below. Uh, if you're using something or you have one that you would think would be, hey, this should be your sixth hack, your seventh hack, or something that's working great for you that's not working so great for you, comment below, we're happy to help. If anyone needs help kind of getting forward, I can't promise that we're gonna be your accountability coach, but what I can help you with, if you have ideas, depending on the business that you're in, or you need help with ideas uh, related to your business of, uh, you know, what content should I start with? What content, uh, you know, should I do Tuesdays or Wednesdays, or whatever the case is, we do this on a regular basis. We spend a lot of our time and energy and mental focus on creating good quality yeah. content for our, for our audience. So if you need help with that, please comment below. And as always, we appreciate all your feedback that you have. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks, guys.